All right, I'm here with Aubrey Ballinger. Hey, Aubrey. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what caused you to make a change in your brokerage, but can you give us a little context? Like how long have you been in real estate? So I've been in real estate for five years. So I was licensed in 2015. Oh, going on six years. Yeah. Hey, look at that quick math. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, it's been that long. Um, And to give some more of the background is, is I was with two different brokerages prior to Mm -hmm. so and then yeah yeah and then September I switched over to exp can you tell us a little bit about like your thought process and and what caused you to make the move like were you unhappy like what happened so I I wasn't I wasn't unhappy Mm -hmm. um and I really liked the brokerage that I was at before um it was a great environment I have nothing bad to say Mm -hmm. Um, for me, like it's always a continual growth process. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know what you don't know until you start to ask questions and see what other people are doing. Right. Um, and you know, working, you know, you help me out a lot and taking a look at some of the numbers. And I know that the joke is always, you can't unsee what you've just seen. Right. So, um, that was the thought process. It took me a long time to switch you know, what, two years yeah. consistency? Was it two? Dang. I feel like it was long. Persist- yeah, it was about two years. Persistence wears out resistance. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes. Um. So in my mind, I didn't want to keep switching. Yeah. You know, I always thought that that looked bad, but then you also have to look out for yourself as well. And I just, I felt that they, I had more potential and- Tell me more that. about that. Like, what did you see for yourself that- Cause I think it is important for people to know that you weren't unhappy and that's, that's a good time to switch. You don't want to switch when you're unhappy because then you're like changing brokerages for the wrong reasons. Right. Yeah. But what did you see in yourself that, I don't know, like, tell us, more, explain more what you're saying. Well, okay. So I guess I can just go into like what made me switch. And I think that yeah. that'll help answer that question. Okay. So, um, I've never fit in a, like a traditional box, even since school, like high Girl, school. You don't, I don't belong know. in a box. Don't put yeah. baby in the corner. I always say like, anytime I thought that I wanted to get out of real estate because it was stressful or hard, you know, then I would go into an office or a friend's office and they call it cube hell. I was yeah. like, nope, that's all I needed to see. So, <laughs> um, I've never fit in that. I've, I've never been, I've never thrived in that type yeah. of setting. So in my mind, after really researching EXP, talking to you, and then going to one of their conferences and seeing the thought process behind the founders and then all of the other agents and how they think and collaborate with each other, um, it just really, it just resonated with me, you know? And it's like, surround yourself. They encourage you to think big. Yeah. And like, I've always dreamed big. I've always been like a dreamer. And trying to implement everything is like, did you feel like stifled or what did it feel like before where it feels different now? Um, and they encouraging you to be you and to do your business on how, what best fits you as an individual and your personality. Mm -hmm. And there's so many different people to collaborate with all over the U S and EXP and different agents Mm -hmm. and also the world is like, you can find somebody who helps you in a way that you learn, you think, or what you're comfortable with, and then just blow that side of you up. You know what I mean? And hone in on your exact skill and cater it to how you want to run your business. Nice. And like, that wasn't something that you had gotten from the previous two brokerages? The first one, no. Um, The second one, I guess I just didn't feel that potentially the mindset was there to think that big. Okay. You know what I mean? Like outside of this town or this office, or this is how things are done that way. Right. Like this um, is our sandbox. We play here. This is how we do things. 
if you're doing them other ways, it's just not really how we do things. Right. Right. <laughs> and not to say that other agents within those brokerages don't do their own thing. I just, I don't know. I just felt that my personality resonated better with EXP and the people who I wanted to surround myself with who Just were wild, wild and free. <laughs> can can absorb and love uh, my craziness. So <laughs> attention, all ADD realtors, which is all of us. <laughs> please, please stand please. up. <laughs> so you're saying like one of the biggest reasons is that you just felt like you could be you at EXP, but in also a way that you're surrounding your, like you knew you hadn't like fulfilled like your potential. And that if you stayed right. where you were at or at a, a similar type brokerage, that potential felt maybe stifled or like you could just never really fill it up. Like it was never. It did. I always felt that there was, I would see other people do things. I'm like, well, how are they doing that? How do yeah. they get there? Yeah. Like, it, and also it felt scary to think that big. But now you feel like you're around more people who are also yeah. thinking like that. So now it seems like you're saying that you're not scared anymore to think I'm that I'm not better. scared anymore, no. Gotcha. You're, you're good at knowing what I'm trying to say. So <laughs> um, I'm not scared anymore. Um, I feel that my dreams are actually achievable and thinking that big and expanding Fighting. outside of my town, you know, and they always talk about building teams, like other brokerages or different things. And it's, I've, it's never, I don't like how that has always been in that structure mm -hmm. of what they preach and tell. Um, and this is very, EXP has that model if you wanted to take advantage of it. So yeah. it's, I don't know. It's just in a different way. It's, it's building your team in a different way. Right, right. So and what is, okay. So what are your other, you had said, you yeah. Yeah. So, so one of the things about surrounding yourself with people who think big and then realizing that that brokerage, like EXP, thought big from the beginning. They thought differently yeah. from the beginning. They thought outside of the box from the beginning. I'm like, yeah. the peeps are here. Like, I like this. <laughs> um, but it's also the support that they put behind it. It's not just that they thought this, they put the whole like infrastructure. Mm -hmm behind it as well. I mean, what the EXP university, they have what 50 hours a week of training. No, it's um, like 80 now. Is it? Okay. It's a lot, but yeah, yeah. different languages. Well, this, if you count everything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, I've seen classes on there from UK. I mean, you got California, you've got other people where you have to make sure that what they're saying you can do in your own States, you know, but right. still concepts are different how to do things are different. So that's what I was saying before, you know, you can surround yourself with people and find somebody who you, who fits you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's the big idea plus the support behind all of it. And then also like with the support, you know, we are online based brokerage. The most, the question I get asked all the time is, well, where's your office? Right. <laughs> it's right I'm here. Like, Let me show you. The world. Right. <laughs> I'm in my sunroom right now. So this is my office. Oh, it so. looks like you're in heaven. You're with the oh. angels. <laughs> you look um, here, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, my, my computer's sitting on a pillow. So. Oh, nice. nice. Exactly. So you are in heaven. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it's that you don't have to have an office because it's, it's not like that anymore. Mm -hmm. People don't go, yeah. clients don't walk into an office right. to find you. You know what and I mean? You can, you can have an office right, and yeah. you can, like I was at one of the offices the other day because we had the partnership with Regis. So I'm there like a couple times a week because it's a co-work space. I like the energy of it and whatever. Right. Right. And I do, I do tend to forget about that because I like working from home because I feel like I'm more efficient with my time. Yeah. Like I get so much more done. You're not off socializing with everyone. I'm not off socializing. And I'm also not wasting 20 minutes to a half an hour to get to the office. That's true. Boom. So get it done. right to work. Um, so yeah, what I, my point to that was, is even though the brokerages or the brokers aren't right in the office, mm -hmm. they are accessible like so easily, like the, the operational staff, the brokers, mm -hmm. you know, 
managers what do we have on what do we have like how many brokers to talk we have three to? brokers in ohio and we have okay. two in kentucky okay so then like the platform that we use to reach out to them like it's quick so fast yeah so yeah. i i was shocked by that and i like that um yeah because you were actually concerned about that i remember right because it's yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, I was concerned, but that's yeah. because you hear about all the stuff, you know, well, yeah. who are you going to talk to? Who's this? I'm like, oh my God, that was so easy. And There's then- so many people to talk to. I mean, even just today, I was talking to the um, regional manager of finance and he's, it, the region he covers is Africa and Europe. It's crazy. And he like, I text, I used the platform. It's like the Facebook platform. I texted him. He texted me right back. We set up a meeting and we were on a Zoom call. I mean, dang, it was that easy. And he's like pretty high up. Like he is the numbers guy for Africa and Europe. That's a Mm -hmm. lot. That's a big job. That's a really big job. And then they find time. They want to help. They want to support. Like it's, How can we help you grow? How can we do this for you? Like, what do you Mm -hmm. need from us? Yeah. So that's been, that's been the really neat. Pleasantly surprising. It sounds like. Yeah. Yes. It was. That's not something it's like, you don't know until you get here. Right. Cause it's like, I mean, I guess you could test it. Like I've been on the phone and test it and be like, okay, well, I'm going to text somebody now. And then they, they text back usually right away. It's like, see, that was, they already answered. (laughs) <laughs> not, you know but right and that's also like if you text them your answer like you go on working and then they'll respond back but it's like you don't waste to me there's not wasting any time because like trying you know to find them or whatever yeah. yeah 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 I agree so it's pretty quick um yeah and then so there's that aspect of it mm-hmm. and then one of the things you know I don't some people start planning for their retirement when they're younger yeah I didn't until I was later. And so this was to me, the only, it was a very appealing factor that they actually talk about this. They talk about exit strategies, you know, it's weird that as real estate agents, we don't generally talk about retirement. No. And it's like to the benefit of the broker generally that we never retire. I don't want to be 80 selling. I want to be off on a beach somewhere or like, I'm going to be in the Turks and Caicos. And my yeah, home. So and we can do it. We can do Tur- Turks and Caicos. Tell, I know. <laughs> like share with, share with people what, what we mean by that. Like how that we can like work in Turks and Caicos. So with the EXP model um, and it's one brokerage, what all over the U S so no, the world. <laughs> over the world. Yeah. Sorry. See, I'm still thinking small. I know. <laughs> the world, baby. <laughs> so, um, since well, Turks and Caicos is one of the British mm-hmm. islands, it's owned by, yeah, Britain. It's owned by, yeah, it's owned by them. So then the brokerage in the UK is allowed to operate in Turks and Caicos. Yeah. So I don't have to have a team per se, like everybody can still be their own individual. Mm -hmm. run their business how they want to but then it's you help support them through like coaching or training and just you know checking in with them but helping them realize their potential Mm -hmm. right um and then building quote-unquote a team in Turks and Caicos I know boom and the only way to do that is to go there obviously right right (laughs) that is that is our next trip that is going to be a trip so (laughs) Well, we have um, Panama first. We do in April. Yeah. In April, Panama to build out the revenue share from that. So, like, I'm curious what your thoughts are. Did you ever think it was like, um, like a MLM or like, oh, I don't want to participate in that or like, what were your thoughts around the revenue share? I was always told like starting what five years ago five four years ago that there's no way that they could sustain on their business model right and so in my mind you know just starting out in the business I let I listen to those people without really looking into it myself Mm -hmm. and so I just always shunned it off like it's non-traditional it's never gonna last it's I because this is what I heard Mm -hmm. And then when you look at their stock, 
it it's not it's not dwindling at all and they keep gaining agents week after week oh. like thousand agents a week right and so stocks are just going up there's just i don't know there's just more money being put into the company um I feel like well, in order to get a little it, bit, sorry. Well, that's okay. Like, if, even in order to get revenue share, like people, you you don't have you have to sell. Like, people have to sell. Right. So the company right. has to have producing agents in order to share the revenue share, or else there's no money there. Right. So it's not, yeah, it's not just a bunch of people like handing money. out money. Like that's yeah. not there. Well, yeah. and two, like we sell real estate. You know, first and, if, and foremost, it is a broker. It is yeah. a real estate company yeah. that helps you reach your goals and helps you be the best that you can be at what you want to do for your life and your career in real estate. Yeah, it's up to you. First and foremost, that's what it is. So, yeah. um, yeah, but then there's just all the other things that can go with it. Um, and I just started to come around. I think getting back to your original question, you know, like just started to come around and really start to ask questions and look at it and then hear about it more and more mm -hmm. talking to you and talking to other people. I mean, I even reached out, I've reached out to other EXP agents mm -hmm. to see and just the stuff. Well, and I think to too, over. like, if I can add like a small personal note is like you really, cause we've been friends for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, and you really started looking at like, what do I want? What, yeah what is, what does my life look like? Like you started taking control of it and saying like, I am the one that's going to cause my life to be how I want it. How do I envision that? And where can I go that gets me there the fastest and with the most fun? Right. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I, so that does go back to your original question. Like, what did I see, you know, and like, I never thought that it was achievable what other agents were doing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they have to have some sort of special sauce that I don't have. Like, no. what are they doing? You have and I been. just never thought that I could be that person to have my like dreams and goals actualized. We and do a video about that, like how you gained, it's almost like you gained the confidence to mm -hmm. be like, it's about me. You know, how can I support yeah. myself, my family, like my dreams? Like, what do I want to do? What if, yeah. what is my part of this? And then you were like, got it, doing it. Yes. <laughs> You're right. I, I, gained the confidence. I gained, yeah, yeah. And like I said, at first it was scary to think that I never thought it was attainable and just being surrounded by people who think like that, mm -hmm. and support it and encourage it has just been it's been amazing. It has been, it's almost taken the stress yeah. out of doing it because I know that I have the sport and the people like, if I don't know what the heck I'm doing, I'm calling somebody like, right. this is what I want. How can I make this happen? <laughs> Cause somebody's already got it. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. actually reach them. Yeah. Correct. That's awesome. Well, I really appreciate you sharing your story. I know a lot of people, you know, you're right at that time, like that four to six year mark is when you start becoming like, you've passed all the time. Like you are a real estate agent at that point, right? Like you're confident right. in what you're doing and you're like, wait a minute, I think I can do this better or something or like whatever. I just knew that there was something bigger for me. Yes. Like you start to come into your own because those first four or five years, you're just so worried about like, how am I going to make money at this? You know? And then you're like, oh wait, I am actually doing the thing. <laughs> I'm doing it. Right. Hey. Yeah. Like, okay. Now what? You know what I mean? Right, like, right. <laughs> but, yeah. So. Like it's just each, each year I think is a stepping stone, you know, and <laughs> you start to realize who you are and what you want. And you're like, exactly. Hey, okay. Like, hey, I got this. I got this. Yeah. Cool. Well, congratulations on your success, Aubrey. Thank We're you so happy much. you're here. Finally. Dang, girl. I know. <laughs> but if people want to find out more about EXP or they have a referral for you in Cincinnati, um, are you getting your Indiana license too? I am. Oh, okay. So Cincinnati or in Indiana, how, yes. how can they get a hold of you? Um, just give me a call um, or text. 
is uh, 513-904-8526. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Bye. Bye. 